Okay, so in this problem, take a moment, read it, set it up, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. All right, let's read this problem. It says a suburban high school has a population of 1,376 students. The number of students who participate in sports is, nine, is 649. And the number of students who participate in music is 433. If the probability that a student participates in either sports or music is 974 over 1376, what is the probability, I'm going to highlight this, that a student participates in both sports and music? So we're trying to find both sports and music. All right, wow, how do we deal with this problem? Well, uh, when I first saw this problem, my first thought was to set up what's called a contingency table or a two-way frequency table. I'm going to just do that real quick. It ends up being true that you don't need it. I'm just, I think it's good to help organize what's happening here. So either you play sports or you don't. So you play sports, all right, or you don't, not sports. It's got to be one or the other. And then with music, you either play music or you don't. You don't play music. All right, no music. So the way the two-way table works is that you set this up. Okay, we've got this row right here. This row is represent all the students who play sports. And then we draw columns. Below it is the row of students who don't play sports. Sorry about my sloppy line there. And then we have two columns for music and no music. And then we extend this a little bit further to get some totals here. This is not the best table. Sorry about that. So. In this spot is the total of everything. There are 1,376 students. And then we know that there are 649 students who play sports. So all the way down here, this is the total of the first row. So altogether, there are 649 students who play sports. And then there are 433 students who play music. So I'm setting up my table. I know that there's lots of blanks here, but I can fill these two spaces in. This space right here will have to equal the difference of 1,376 and 433. In other words, this, these two cells in this row have to add to this total. And that's 943. And the same thing is true here. 649 plus 727 is 1376. But I can't really fill out these blanks. I don't know the combination yet that gets me uh, to 727 and 433. At least it's not immediately obvious to me how to do that. Uh, could I figure it out? Um, maybe. Because we, we have more information here. Let's see what they're saying. It's 974 students out of the 1376 that do either sports or music. And that's when I realized, oh, I don't really need this table. I want to come back and fill it out because there are lots of questions that we could answer around this. Um, and I, I write down my definition of the union of events. So let's say we have the probability of playing sports or, this is the symbol for or or union, music. Looks like the word sum, but it's saying sports or music. They're telling us that that number is 974 over 1376. But what is the definition of the union? Well, it would equal the probability of us playing sports or music minus the probability of us playing both sports and music. And this is the symbol for end or the intersection. So we'll explain this in a moment. Let me just plug in some numbers here. Well, we know the probability that they play sports or music. They gave us that number. It's 974 over 1376. The problem that they play sports, well, there are 649 students who play sports, okay, out of 1,376 students in total, plus the probability that they play music. Well, how many students play music? Well, 433 out of how many? Out of 1,376. And then the only thing that's missing is the probability, the probability that they play sports and music. So we'll leave that as our variable. OK. Now, before we go further, let's just step back and say, well, why does this definition work? Why does it make perfect sense? Um, and I'm going to just give myself some more room. So here's a little side note about why this works. In mathematics, if I'm saying the probability of sports, let's say this is like a Venn diagram, where this is the all the uh, all the different people who play sports, and here are all the different people who play music. Here, if I say sports or music, I'm saying anyone who plays sports or music or, in what I have in this region, both. And this region right here is called the intersection. It's sports and music. Now, this definition. Look at what it's saying here. You take the probability that they play a sport. 
So anyone in this group. And notice, look at that, we've counted anyone playing the sports and people who also play music. And then we do it again. We add up, this time, all the people who play music. And we end up adding that middle region two times, right? Let me color that purple because, of course, red and blue make purple. So I feel like this little region right here has been counted two times. So we then subtract it away because we don't want to double count it. So that's kind of what's happening here in this Venn diagram. We're finding probably S and M and then subtracting the intersection because it has been counted twice. And then it's a matter of just solving this equation. Well, this equation, don't be, don't be overwhelmed by what you're seeing. This right here, I'm just going to highlight this piece. We're going to call that, just call that X. And then look at the equation. We're solving for X. How am I going to solve for X? Well, I'm going to add X to the other side. Add X to both sides, I should say, excuse me. And then I'm going to subtract 974 over 1376 from both sides. And I have 649 plus 433. These two fractions have the same denominator. Just add those numerators and then subtract this numerator. They all have the same denominator. All over 1376. All I just did there was add x to both sides. Oops. Add x to both sides and then subtracted 974 over 1376 from both sides. I didn't feel like writing it though. Sorry about that. And right here that gets me x, which is the probability of playing sports and music, equals 108 over 1376. Now, are we done? I don't know. I don't remember the question. Let me go back up. Um, what is the probability that a student participates in both sports and music? Yes, we did it. Right? It's, it's 108 out of 1376. But let's go back to the table and check something out here. So 108 students out of the total play both sports and music. That's this. That's this joint frequency. All the things in the inside part of this table are called joint frequencies because they're like two joints, uh, like a joint where two beams meet. In other words, the row, sports, is like one beam. Music is like another. They meet here at 108. That's their intersection. So playing sports and music has 108 people that do both. And then we can fill out all the rest of these values here. Um, 108 plus 541, well, that's 649. 108 plus 325, that's 433. And 541 plus 402 is 943. And that was, this is not what we need. But I just wanted to show that because it might be super useful to you in other problems. And the last thing I'll say is that this region right here, these are not joint frequencies, these are marginal frequencies because they're the frequencies on the margins of the table and they usually represent either some total, total of a row or total of a column. All right, so I went a little bit beyond that problem, but I hope it helped. Thank you.